Your voice sounds nothing like it used to. When you were little, you sounded like a kid, and now you sound like an adult, and you'll probably sound different many years from now. Like, have you seen that commercial where all the celebrities are talking, and it's a picture of their high school photo, and their mouth is moving, and Stan Lee talks, and you're like, yeah, that's definitely an old man. That's what I'm talking about. But why is that? Hey folks, it's Falcon, and today on Waste Time, we ask the question, how and why does our voice change as we grow old? The first decade you spend on this planet, not a whole lot of surprises come out of your mouth. I mean, if you heard your parents curse and you said it back to them, maybe, I mean, that, that qualifies as a surprise, but not what I'm talking about. You see, your voice, it sounds basically the same until you're about uh, 9, 10, maybe 12, 13. And then the most obvious and dramatic change happens in your life. You go from sounding like a cherub, a pure angelic voice regardless of gender, size, and other factors, and depending on the chromosomes you have, your voice changes into one of two things. A much more regal sounding, but still angelic and beautiful, soothing, dulcet tone of a voice, or basically a demon. I have turned 18, mother and father. Are you proud of me? Jesus Christ, man! No. Definitely not him. <laughs> so, obviously the hormonal developments in your body are behind the changes that happen at puberty, but aside from those, what causes a person's voice to change over their entire life? Well, there are actually a large number of factors that deal with it, but let's start with the simple things. As you age, your body has trouble making tissues, whether that be muscle tissue or various other tissues, the tissues that make up your vocal cords, for instance, which do get injured from sickness and overuse, do end up making your voice sort of regenerate every time it's used slightly differently. Now, it's not going to be something that utterly changes your voice to an unrecognizable point. Most people can tell that you're you, regardless of what age you are. But if you have less muscle, that may actually change your voice and that it changes the speed at which you talk. Facial muscles can actually run out of energy faster, causing you to want to use them less. And it's a subconscious thing, it's not something that would immediately change, but as you get older, you may end up talking a little bit slower because of this. But things that specifically change the quality, sound, timbre, pitch of your voice, again, might be due to the vocal cords healing up differently as you age. That's not just its own factor though, because if you can imagine what happens when your hearing gets less good, you start to speak louder, meaning you may end up stretching the limits of your voice. You may end up kind of yelling a little bit all the time. And as that happens, you may end up damaging your vocal cords and your larynx, and the cartilages inside may become harder and therefore less flexible. Now, not only does this make it so that your voice may sound a little bit different, it also reduces the range of pitch that you can express. Because the cartilage itself may end up taking up a little bit more space, it also may end up actually raising your pitch a little bit as well. That being said, in men, it's more common for their pitch to go up over the years as opposed to go down, whereas usually a woman's voice will stay the same in pitch or go down in pitch even, which implies that the cartilage issue is actually less detrimental towards women. As these cells and fibers heal in different ways, vocal folds can end up becoming, well, let's just say less flexible. They can be stiffer, thinner, more brittle. This is similar to a lot of things that can happen to someone as they age. However, it does affect males more. Also, I want to apologize in advance. From this point forward, we'll probably be speaking in a much more binary-oriented function regarding gender, just for the sake of simplicity, and that research into these types of issues regarding a much wider gender spectrum have not really been done in depth. Anyway, to put it in its most simple terms, what happens is a lot of the components of the machine that is your voice box start to break down. And there really isn't any way to do maintenance on these sort of things, like there would be a car. These are organic mechanical components, not necessarily repairable organic components either. At some point, maybe someday, you will be able to get these things replaced. You may be able to clone them from yourself, have them grown in a lab, and swapped out for a much younger version of your exact vocal cords, I don't know. But at the moment, it's just not a realistic expectation that this is something you as a person will be able to one day stop. It's probably not the case, at least right now. 
Another thing that you'd probably be quite surprised changes the voice a lot is a person's teeth. As a person gets older, the teeth sort of, well, even in a lot of healthy people, sort of get much worse. In a lot of cases, people have to have their teeth removed and they get full dentures. This can change your voice more than you think. Your S's, your F's, a lot of consonants are going to be completely different as you talk. And also, it's going to cause you to move your mouth in a different way, which is going to cause you to do something that you may not expect. Let's talk about guitars and electronic music for just a moment. Have you ever heard a song with a full-on robot voice in it? Or any number of rock songs with a guitar solo that kind of talks? You'd actually be quite surprised to learn how that happens in a lot of cases. You may have seen it, they have plenty of videos of doing it on YouTube. But one of the more interesting ways to do this specifically is to pipe sound, literally pipe it into your mouth through a plastic tube, and then use the inside of your mouth as a means to manipulate the sound. You see, your mouth is essentially a sound chamber, and the shape of it alters the sound. When you introduce dentures, or take teeth out, or have an operation on your gums because you got cancer, this changes your voice, this changes how your voice comes out, this changes very, very much what you sound like, without necessarily changing even your vocal cords at all. So TLDR, the reason that your voice changes through the years as you get older and wiser, is that your voice is an extremely complex machine, with a lot of parts that all depend on your body for maintenance. And once your body starts going, I don't know if I really want to do that anymore. It's a lot of work and not a lot of payoff. Let's be frank here, like he doesn't really say anything that valuable. Once your body gets that attitude, it's over. Very minor changes to what's going on in your mouth or throat completely change your voice. If you want to test that, if you want to go, I don't really completely believe that, just put your hand over your mouth, but continue to talk. It sounds pretty weird, doesn't it? Hey everybody, this is what I sound like putting my hand over my mouth and continuing to talk. It sounds nothing like I sound normally. Get it? Little changes over years. Did you sound like a little goof when you were a kid? Does your grandpa sound like a huge goof now? Let's talk about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, if it kind of gave you some sort of idea as to what the concepts are, click that like button as well as subscribe. We upload brand new videos every day of the week and the best way to see them first is a subscription. My name is Falcon, you can follow me on Twitter at FalconTheHero. Thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you next time right here on Waste Time.